29214, this Norwich Terrier, four years old male neutered, was very itchy for last two weeks or three. The owner came uh, asking for steroid injection. The blood test done shows that the dog was allergic to many things, including uh, potatoes, tomatoes, uh, rice, then uh, the grass, grasses and even uh, cockroach and ducks also. So now, I advise the owner to get the dog clipboard and uh, we check for Dermandex mites, uh, do a skin scraping, uh, do a skin scraping on this elbow, one, one area, but uh, there was no Dermandex. Now, then uh, I check for ringworm. Now ringworm, we, we check on the, on the elbow side, Elbow un un under UV light, there was some fluorescent, but uh, other than that, you can see that uh, the dog had ringworm much earlier, and you can see the circular, circular areas, especially on this. The neck is where all the ringworm must have joined together. You can see the circle here, this circle here, so circle here. So all these must have under the hairs, the thick hair. The ringworm has all. Uh, joined together, but you can see the circles. There, the circle here, small circles here, and uh, so this dog has not recovered fully from the ringworm. Okay, so now I'm starting from okay the left left view first. Left view now the left view, the owner complained of course scratching the neck very uh, very frequently. Then it's scratching, biting here biting here and then this part will be the the leg scratching damaging the skin and you can see rashes here and uh, there are still old ringworm spots after we shave the the body board you can see okay now we turn to the right side we turn to the right side and the right side is uh, almost the same problems now you can see uh, same thing this part also scratching very badly and uh, the front part there, scratching also. Then you see this part, the same thing, biting here. And uh, you can see the other video I, I took yesterday. With all the long coat, you can't see anything. But you can see only here, and the certain parts, and the neck. So after shaping board, you can see there's a lot of dandruff as well. Okay, now the other complaint is about the neck. Now, the neck has been going for a long time, neck and face very long and uh, the owner owner didn't really uh, come back for review eh? so neck and then he been biting the elbows the elbows all black and the paws all the four paws are also biting now paws could be due to allergies eh? okay now we show the belly the, the stomach area you can see now this part is really very bad at the front although the dog has been wearing an e collar and uh, the little collar didn't help. Here, here it's very bad. It's an inflammation. Then uh, you can see below. Now this, this is not a Westy, but uh, the disease, uh, similar to what the Westy has. Normally they think that it's due to the yeast. Yeast cells infected. Okay, now you see the backside. Now you see the backside. Pull up the tail. Eh? So there's no inner sac inflammation or infection but you can see there are rashes here these are probably bacteria bacteria pastils of or starting of fungus or yeast and so overall overall this dog uh, will be given the washers and the medication for ringworm and yeast and the wash for ringworm and mites is amitraz wash and then the enter fungal wash and the owner will do 14 washes for, for antifungus and then another 14 for for the mites. What she will do is half. Half. Half the body, let's say Monday. And then uh, Tuesday will be the lower half. Then Wednesday. And then uh, front half and then Thursday back half. So let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be uh, anti-fungus and then uh, Tuesday, Thursday and 
Saturday will be the mics. So she will drop very hard on those affected areas and uh, we will have 14 washers each and after one month I have to review the case. Of course the dog is given given uh, the usual uh, dog food which is said to be containing potato which this dog is also allergic to in the test. Other than that it doesn't have other things so we have to wait and see now the ears. The ears are good. You see there is no pain in the ears. Last time this dog had ear problem but we irrigated the ears already. Press, press this one. You can see whether the dog has ear problems or not. There doesn't have, there's no pain. And then of course we have irrigated the ears. And then you see there's no inflammation and no scabies or, or any mites in this ear. As compared to last time, last time the ears were a big problem. So the ears has been uh, fully cured. But now the problem is the rashes and then uh, the ringworm. If I can see the tail, huh? now you hold the tail, you can see actually a very uh, classic, classical ring here there. So overall we have to wait and see one month later. We will fall out in this case and uh, we will treat for mites and, and fungus and yeast as well as some allergies, anti-allergy tablets. May 29, 2014. Uh, Norwich Terrier, male neutered, 4 years old, very itchy.